down here. <sighs> Michelle Lewis is at a loss for words, all because the condition of her home. Moments on the lift off with the LA leakers. Okay, uh, where everybody always seem to give me half effort. I guess I need more clout. I know I rap better. I got a stack cheddar, apply max pressure, ski mask, black sweater. The daily attire, it made me acquire effort. My lazy is fired. God damn, why the fuck do I feel so entitled? Beef coming, I take the high road. My life spirals. I'm longevity chasing you overnight viral. I fight a little bit. Show them how we do this. Only real MCs can come on the LA Leaker show. Okay. Why be Get it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, I need a new Bugatti for the few who got me killing pieces of ruthless hobby. You say your shooters copy, never do a sloppy drum a kit like they do karate. Yo. I be the first, never lie to rap. I am a great, no denying that. I yeah. spit the higher than fire tracks. I cannot wait to blow up and they say he acquire racks. I switch the style and I make it easy. I change my friend because they was greedy. I'm making money, they pay to meet me. I give a fuck if a hater scheming. I gotta grind and make every dollar. My money's stronger than Larry Lobster. I work that magic that Harry Potter. You niggas scared, they bury up. Hey, all my niggas rich. In the house, I have uh, made it home. Uh, been here for a couple of days. I was on my way to pick up a load yesterday, but unfortunately, the load was can canceled slash taken away. Just know that unfortunate situations happen. And uh, I am here doing the 34 at my home. I want to I want to lay this out. I want to set this up for you guys so that uh, so that you guys get an understanding of what what the Nets uh, footage after this little intro that's going to segue into. So yesterday I was on my way home and I was walking to uh, you know walking to the house from where I parked my truck. There's this house that's across the street from me that was featured in a Channel 19 news uh, story. My sister called me up while I was on the on the road and she was like, hey bruh, you know that house across the street? Hey, you might wanna watch the article. It's, it's, on, it's featured on Channel 19. And I was like, what? What you talking about, Channel 19? So I got a chance to watch it. The article was 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 kind of crazy. Asking their landlord to fix multiple issues inside their rental home, including the lack of a furnace. Now, after a failed housing inspection and a baby in the hospital, they reached out to us. That's right. They talked to our Shannon Hauser tonight. And Shannon, uh, one unit correct doesn't have any heat. Yeah, that is the second floor unit. There isn't even a heater installed for that unit. No furnace there. That's where that nine month old baby sleeps. He's in the hospital right now, but with chilly temps like tonight, there's likely no chance he's going back to his home anytime soon. It looks a mess down here. <sighs> Michelle Lewis is at a loss for words, all because the condition of her home. Uh, he gave me this the way it is. She rented the unit on East 131st and Shaw Avenue last spring. We had nowhere to go. This was our last option. She says the landlord told her he would fix all of the obvious cosmetic issues after she moved in. Shredded blinds here. As you can see, doors off the hinges when we first moved in here. But months later, those issues still aren't fixed. Look at the ceiling, it's caving. The ceiling is coming down. And there are a handful of even more concerning issues beyond what you can physically see at first sight. They just run, there's so many of them. Lewis's nine month old nephew Clifton Jr. lived in the home. Now he's in the hospital and Lewis says he won't be able to come back. His unit has no heat. He's on oxygen 
He didn't have stomach surgery. He's going through so many medical problems. In two inspections from the city of Cleveland's Department of Building and Housing, I found 38 code violations. Some of them noted as safety concerns, like the porch roof deteriorating, no furnace connected to the second floor, a cockroach infestation, the bathroom floor deteriorated, a toilet that doesn't flush, and exposed electrical conductors. The electrical fixtures, um, my son coming here, he turned on the light. I went to the landlord's home, to the church where he's a pastor, and I called him on the phone. No answer. Hey, pastor Hunter, my name is I watched the article, and then as I was walking home yesterday, I, I walked past the house, and it was a couple of guys working on it. Stopped over there, and I asked them because I was interested in getting my roof done for my garage. He was working on a house that was featured in the news article so after we chopped it up he came over he gave me an estimate on what he could do for me on my garage Well, I'm back at my uh, at my parking spot, as you guys can see in the background, and I am talking to you guys on the new GoPro. Let me know how this uh, audio is. They said the audio is supposed to be improved on this little camera. I am back at the house. Uh, I had a load that pretty much that was canceled because uh, because it was gonna be late pickup. So I uh, decided to take my 34. I'm about to tell you the reason why I'm taking my 34. You see, right now it's messed up. It's, it's messed up right now. Uh, the streets burrow low, I, I get all the way out there only to find out that the load was canceled due to that it was going to be a late pickup this morning actually it was supposed to have been picked up yesterday and uh it was supposed to have been picked up at 1 30. unfortunately i didn't get the rooster until 3 30 that evening so how was i was going to make that on time pickup i don't know it's hard to explain how I was gonna be there at one o'clock and I was on the road at one o'clock, but that's here nor there. You know what I'm saying? That's here nor there. So I get to Streetsboro this morning and I noticed that the dispatch was for my Wisconsin load. Guy goes like, let me get your pickup number. And I'm like, whoa, wait, wait, hold on. I, I don't see the I don't see that I'm on a dispatch for this load yet. It's bust the rhymes with the scenario. Watch as I combine all the juice from the mind. Heal up, wheel up, bring it back, come rewind. Powerful impact, boom, boom. from the cannon. Now bragging, try to reap a mind. Just imagine, both can't build, there is necessary. When digging into my library, oh my God, so oh my God. So, as I'm looking at my dispatch, I'm like, wait, I'm on my Wisconsin load? I was like, hold up, this is supposed to be my uh, my uh, Streetsboro load. So I, I tell the guys, I pulled over to the side, I was like, hey, I called up the fleet manager that's working my fleet manager's board because he's off for the next, I mean, for this weekend. Calls him up and I said, hey, bro, what's uh, what's going on with, uh, with my dispatch? I says, uh, this uh, dispatch I'm on is my last pre-plan. Or for Monday. Yeah, for Monday. So he goes, oh, the Streetsboro load canceled. Oh, no, he didn't say it canceled. He said the Streetsboro load was taken from you because it was going to be late. It was on a late pickup. Okay, bro. 
it was already late. Well, yeah, it, it was late because, you know, you was late picking up the uh, load from Illinois. That load was already, that load wasn't technically late. It was a window, but I would have got there early if I hadn't trailer hunted all day. I was like, okay, so what, am I, am I gonna, am I gonna sit on this load until Monday? That's what you're telling me? I mean, can I just get this load up to a yard, drop it at a yard and keep rolling? Well, I don't, I don't know if, if you can do that. Uh, I gotta find out. So, as I'm talking with him, you know, we're we're chopping it up and everything. He goes, uh, hold on right quick. I'm gonna ask these guys a question. Right there, uh -huh. I can tell by the coloring of the wood. See right. What I mean? See how right. bright that is over there? Uh huh. And so you know this got water, so it's saturated. It turns it brown. Right. So I would take it across here, mm -hmm. all the way across, because it's all brown. So I would take it all the way across. Okay. So I would go up 24 inches, or maybe to 26 inches, right? Right. Maybe 28 to make sure, because the uh, the roll is going to be um, it's going to be four feet right so this is the this is the size of the of, of the roll okay so the roll is this way 100 square yards go this way so between this and this that's how long it is okay so I would take that and roll it all the way to the end mm -hmm. so I would use the whole I wouldn't even cut it I would just do the whole solid piece just share this with you okay The decking, unless it is just totally saturated where it's mush, right? You move it. Okay. But if it's not mush, then you seal it and cover it. It'll dry this way. Okay. Instead of this way. Okay. Okay, because the the condensation, you know, in the wood from the mm -hmm. being wet is going to eventually evaporate. Okay. And anytime you're up on a roof, it's warm in here because the roof is black, so it takes in heat, so right. it'll dry it out. Right. Okay, but it's got to be sealed so that it doesn't continue to stay wet. Okay. That's the issue. Now, okay. let me tell you about the season. It's finna get cold, it's right? It's finna get cold, so okay. I definitely don't want you doing nothing in the cold. Right. No, no, no. I don't mind doing the cold, but you got to do it before it gets 32. Right. After 32, the, the, the mud don't work, don't nothing work, everything cracks. Body them to educate them. I've been flipping words since the sheets were fairly odd. Parents, they may have the courage to compete until they silent. We supposed to be a family tree with a mason jar stuffing everybody's into one. But I hate Gadar, be with elementary. Saw me with these Johnny with my rapping book. Thought there was room for another nigga. So, it's almost over with. Almost over with. About to head back over to the house and uh pick up my kid and head home i'm gonna get some sleep i gotta get up like first thing in the morning but i might not get up first thing in the morning because i am super tired and i want to get some sleep i got this uh this strap this gopro arm and wrist strap for the gopro <laughs> They have one ready in and out. So I'm looking, I'm out here, I'm looking on a wall, and yet I don't see it. But well, right here it says you guys have the head and the wrist strap. I mean the uh, hand and wrist strap. That one? That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else you can for? Uh, no thank you. Okay. No, thank you. Don't come with the leg strap, and that's the one that I was actually looking for. And I was actually looking for that one. I came all the way out here to get this uh, strap. Now, GoPro's accessories, man, I, I tell you, them bad boys are expensive as fuck. $50 for a damn wrist strap 
Are you serious? I guess I am serious because I just spent it. I just spent $50 on a wrist strap. A strap, okay? 50 bucks. Wrap your heads around that. 50 bucks for a wrist strap.